Welcome back. We want to know linear again. And look, we've got the other impossible situation that comes up when uh, we think about our domain, and that is anytime x gets bigger than 7, we're going to get, like if it was 8, 7 minus 8 is negative 1, we're going to have a problem in there. So this this thing is where we have a hard time, we're going to have a hard time with it. And most of these graphs either go like this, or on occasion they might go backwards and go like that. It's going to be one of these two. So it's not linear, okay, because we've got restrictions on our variables. So let's look at let's look at y equals right here and just watch what happens when you put in the square root of, and I want to put in 7 minus x. And then graph that thing, and you're going to see that you get a curve. This thing is curvy. It looks sort of like this one. So no, and you can just say, because it curves. All radical functions like this are going to give you a curve. I was a little too bright right there. It's always been my problem being a little too bright. And we'll be back.